y'all. You know, I always try to be upbeat and positive about this stuff and let you know how much fun and, and how easy most of it is because it is. Uh, but now and then, now and then you come across parts that aren't so easy. And I'm going to... I'm at one of those. I'm sitting on the floor right here by my all my pile of work stuff in my living room right now. And I am so grossed out with this piece that I've got here. I talked a little bit about this piece earlier, and, and I didn't realize how gross it was. When the lady delivered it, it was too short and all that kind of stuff. But I was still going to make it work. And I was so excited about my Junk Monkey Purple that I got that blue piece out of here in the back of my car. And I went by myself without my husband even being here. This thing is heavy. And got it and loaded it in my car, and it stinks. It smells like... I had a pawpaw. When I was a little girl, we lived with my pawpaw in his house. He was 89 years old, and all he did was walk around and dip snuff. I don't think I ever saw him do anything else besides walk around in the same flannel shirt and dip snuff. And this piece of furniture smells like my old pawpaw's snuff can or his, I don't know, it's it stinks. And... Um, it, it, it's, it's gorgeous and would be gorgeous if it had tall enough legs for me to even figure out what the heck it is. But let me, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you real quick. Hey, Terry Lou. No, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be negative, but now and then, sometimes somebody I wish would have sat me down and talked to me and said, girl, before you buy stuff, take a whiff of it. Take a look and see how much work it's going to be. I'm going to do this distressed so the, the loose veneer on it and all that kind of stuff doesn't matter but it's nasty it, it's just nasty let me turn it around i've already been on this thing for about a half an hour and inside i, I expected to find you know a million confederate dollars in there or something to make me feel better about what was in it and see how pretty it is here's the drawers and they actually one of them had a piece of cute hardware but that this metal part was missing off of the other one, so I can't even put that back on there. It somehow smells, and I don't know if, if any of y'all remember this, and I, maybe the whole house smelled this way when I was a kid. I mean, we were poor and lived in the country. and uh, But the sewing machines had a smell back then, and my mama would make all of our clothes and everything. And that sort of burnt thread smell that the old sewing machines made back then it sort of a little bit has that smell to it somewhere between old sewing machine thread and and my papa charney's dribble and snuff and hundred year old tobacco smoke you can see some of this stuff i've already cleaned that under there but see that obviously it's going to take scrubbing and scrubbing and here's the water that's my second bowl of water there, and I'm using, I hate to even stick my hand in there, I'm using this scrubby thing right now on it to scrub that. On my second rag, wiping that off after I scrub it. And I wasn't going to worry so much about, you know, the cracked veneer because I did want it to be like, hey, Candy, um, I did, if you want to know what it smelled like when I was a little kid and... My Papa Charney dribbled his snuff and Mama Carol's sewing machine was going out of order and burning the thread. That's what this thing smells like. And not like, not like, you know, it was in the house with somebody who smoked, but probably it was in the house with somebody who smoked 50, 75 years ago. I'll, I'll put that in there. It does have a little bit of an old smoke reek, but that's not, that's not the smell. The smell is just old person and I saw a funny thing on uh, Facebook earlier this week and I didn't read a lot of the comments because I thought it was a little bit ridiculous but uh, somebody mentioned something about old person smell and all kinds of old people were on there going I don't have a smell I've never smelled an old person have a smell old people don't smell you stupid millennials are the ones who smell and all offended like you know the millennials are whenever we say something ugly about them well to all of my old friends who don't think that old people have a smell you might have forgot what your papa smelled like because this is it 
this is it. Oh my goodness. I, it, I know it's going to be a beautiful piece of furniture. I mean, it, you know, it, I don't know what, it, it, if you could see this, it's probably three foot off the ground. It, this could be a, this could be a permanently short person's dresser. Um, it's not tall enough to go behind a sofa. We were going to build some legs on it. And I got so excited about that junk monkey paint today that I wanted to paint this thing purple. And I just, by golly, I went down to the barn by myself and got it. And it is heavy. It's very heavy. This is all, well, it feels like solid wood. And most of the boards, if you look at the sides of the drawers, that's solid boards. But the top, this is veneer. And the veneer is popping off the top. And I wasn't going to worry about that. I could work with that. But that right there... That is, it, it, it's just grossing me out. So, sometimes whenever you're going and looking for a piece, take into consideration, I am never, ever, ever going to be able to sell this for enough money to be as grossed out. Can you see all that in there? It's going to take me forever to get in those crevices and scrub the years of nasty out of that. Um... And I don't know what I'm going to do about, I'm, I guess I'll put charcoal in it and baking soda or something as it sits at night to try to absorb the odor. And I'm going to paint the inside of the drawers and all that. I'm not going to give up. I'm not the kind of person who gives up. But um, sometimes I, I wanted to do like I did yesterday and flip this thing in a day. And all I want to do now is sit right here and come back to me sit right here leaned up against the wall and pout and not do a dang thing <laughs> i don't want to get up and go in the other room and make another bucket of tsp to clean this thing with i'm tired of going in there and doing that but i know this thing has potential so sometimes before especially on the marketplace you know just pay attention even the two buffets that i went and got this morning that i'm so proud to have and you may have seen how giddy i was on those videos um one of the hinges has a couple of knobs missing. One of the doors was coming off the hinges. One of the other doors doesn't work. None of that. They're in good condition was on the listing. And the pictures made them look beautiful while I got there. One of them's already painted. So I have to worry about that. But, the, you know, so there's always things to be aware of. But this one, I felt obligated i guess because the lady brought it all the way over here she just i paid 50 dollars for it which is more than i ever spend on anything but i loved the way it looked but i did at least think it was as tall as a dresser and then once it got here i'm like oh no she must really need the money and she offered to bring it over here and i believe it was christmas day or something you know what i mean it was it was christmas day and i'm like she's bringing it over here on christmas day it, you know of course i'm not gonna say no take this thing back home but um and i thought well maybe it was you know just smoke because she was a smoker or something like that but after taking all these drawers out and scrubbing on this thing it's gonna take a bunch of coats of um TSP to get it to make sure that it's as clean as I want it to be underneath the paint but in other news I was going to paint it purple and that was my whole excitement was getting my new junk monkey purple today and thank you candy for that and I, I, I wanted to paint this purple but I'm not I'm going to use this milky paint which I've never used before so while I've got the time to let all these layers of stinky nasty um dry and and do their thing and try to get the odors out of here. I'm going to learn how to use this milk paint and I'll share it with y'all. And the reason I'm going to do that, hey, Tanya, the reason I'm going to do that is um, because the finish is so chipped up on here. Hey, Shanna, the, the finish is so chipped up on here. There's no way I'm going to get a good finish any other way. It would take me clamps and wood glue and sanding and you know a month of sundays of of prep work on this thing to get it to where it would have a nice finish to do a solid finish on like uh like that so since this is supposed to be chippy anyways that's what i'm gonna <laughs> that's what i'm gonna use on there let me show you this water tanya in this piece if if it's got on here this is the tsp water that's that's my either second or third batch of it trying to clean this thing and you just, it, it smells, and you may recognize the smell. I don't know if younger people know this smell, but it smells like my, my papa's name was Charney. Smells like, and my great-grandpa. Smells like my great-grandpa Charney 
after he, you know, just dipped snuff all the time and drooled snuff and I think he slept in his clothes. I don't know what he did, but I, I loved him. And as I'm trying to clean out the inside of this thing and clean all this nasty off the outside of this thing, all I keep pretending is this is Pawpaw's. I would do it for him, but I hate that I'm dipping my hands in, in somebody else's old Pawpaw's snuff stuff or whatever. It's, it's a pretty piece. Like I said, I have no idea what it is or why it's so short. And, you know, maybe we can figure that out and that'll be, you know, some kind of bonus round on it. But, man, see that? That's already been cleaned with a Green Kitchen Scrubby and TSP, the strongest cleaner for this stuff that I know what to do. I may get some crud cutter to try, but TSP usually works better than the crud cutter. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm just grossed out by it, by the... the fact of, of how it smells and it and not just like old person and old house smell yeah it exactly that's that's probably what i'll do is put some orange oil in there too i had thought about that and that's a really good uh cleaner too so i may when i get back up and make my next batch and quit feeling sorry for myself sitting here looking at this piece that i thought would be done by the end of the day i'll uh go mix myself up the next batch of hey audrey the next batch of uh, TSP and maybe put a drop or two of orange oil in that. And I may put a drop in each drawer and a drop where, you know, each drawer go goes. I've already semi-wiped up in there. And there was so much, um, they were probably spider webs a hundred years ago, but they were thick, bound together, tan and brown color, spider web looking things that were growing in here. And they, they ain't been alive in a long time. So I have a lot of that to still get out of there. And uh, I, I thought about a vanity too, and you're probably right, but look, you didn't have much room to get ready here, but I guess you could have put the, you know, your mirror up top and then some of your stuff here because it do, does have two smaller drawers, but it's so short that if I sat in a chair in front of it, my knees would come up higher than this part. The little legs, I mean, I've got it on rollers right now. The legs are probably seven inches, something like that. Maybe eight, I don't think they're eight inches. That one's not quite on the ground because I have the, I only have four rollers and I have them on the, and this thing has uh, eight legs. Um, but it's, I, you know, I want it to be, clean you can you know with chalky top paint i could slap paint on this and and be done with it but i wouldn't want somebody selling me something that was this nasty underneath the coat of paint so that's uh hey tanya <laughs> we're talking about being careful when you go buy a piece that that you don't just get so excited by the photograph of it on marketplace that you think you've got a treasure and then it gets home and it's a uh, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a tremendous amount of work. And if it was up to me right now, as many projects as I have on my plate, I would bring this thing back down to the barn and let it air out another month or two before I started on it. But I've got, I've started on it. I've got my mind all set on doing it. And, and that's just gross. That That is just gross. But I appreciate y'all coming on and I... Uh, letting me pout and whine to you about my my nasty vanity which is probably what it is and and what to do with it and if you have any other uh hey ellen if you have any other suggestions of of what i might can do because i mean i've been uh becky i think it will be too no in the in the long run it will be but i have to also you know me because I do it for a living consider the number of hours that I'm going to have in it and all of that toward will I ever recoup my investment and I probably won't but it is I'm, I'm just grossed out because it, it smells so bad and it I mean it doesn't smell like a dead dog or anything but it does smell like it does smell like your old papa's house if he stayed cooped up in his house and just dipped snuff and never left his house and and maybe had an old sewing machine that, <laughs> that my mama's old sewing machine that's it, it had a bad smell too it smelled like burnt thread all the time but that i don't know if anybody the the older people will remember this back when sewing machines my mama would sew and we had a tv and you didn't get but like two channels three on a good day and if she ran the sewing machine it would make the tv go out so it would be me and then all lines all over the TV and it smelled like burnt thread in the house 
Well, this thing has lived in a house like that. It would be surprising if I ever find out maybe it did belong to my old Papa Charney. But uh, I might try, Tanya, some Murphy's oil soap. I think I saw that in some of my uh, stuff at work. But um, I, I appreciate y'all listening to that because I hate to come on here and whine. But I, I really just like, oh, I'm going to go down there and get it. I was so gung-ho. I by myself loaded this thing and it probably weighs, you know, 150 pounds in the back of my car. Drove it up here, unloaded it up, brought it up the steps across the porch in the house. Brought the other one out and loaded it in my car. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. And then... Oh, my God, when I put, took the drawers out and then whenever I got the TSP and started, you know, getting that top layer of gunk off, it was just releasing more of the nasty. Don't use anything with oil in it to clean. It will mess with your paint. Oh, well, that's a good idea, too, Becky. Have you ever used milk paint? I was going to paint this thing with the Junk Monkey Purple, and... Uh, but now I think since it's there's so many issues uh, with thank you Audrey with the uh, the veneer and all the stuff on here I think I'm if this is supposed to be chippy looking anyways I've never used it I think I'm gonna learn how to use it and that's what I'll do on here and this will be my opportunity to learn patience because I I like to just get stuff off my table and move on to the next one because I'm so excited about all the possibilities and all the colors and all the things. So do you think, uh, Becky, do you think the Murphy's oil soap, or are you talking about, like, actual orange oil? Well, that's not even essential oil because it comes, so it may have a little bit of an oil uh, to it because that actually comes from the rind of an orange, and I've, I've got 20% battery. Now my phone's going to go dead. If y'all think of anything, please write it down. Uh, yeah, I am going to use, uh, I'm going to use Dixie Belle Slick Stick um, to seal the tannins in, and I may... Uh, tint that a little bit or something because it's going to be, you know, going over that dark and going with the light color. Hey, Liz, I'm just complaining about, let me turn this around so you can see since you're uh, late to the party, this piece that I was so excited about that wasn't what I thought it was when it got here off of the marketplace because it's really short and tiny. And I just, I've already cleaned that area. See how nasty that still is? I used TSP to clean that, but it stinks. It, it stinks like old cowboys stunk 50 years ago that's 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 just what it smells like there's the tsp water my second or third batch of that and uh like i said i've already cleaned that so obviously it's going to take scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing to go on there yes i have been working and i've not been liking it so i decided to come pout with y'all for a little while about it but whenever i get done with here I'll go back to remembering my papa, I'll pretend that's him I smell, <laughs> and and get it clean, and learn how to use this milk paint, and uh, and make it happen. So I do think I'll uh, do what uh, Tanya suggested, uh, and maybe I'll just put a drop of the orange oil in each of the drawers, and slip them back in there, and maybe that'll start fumigating it from the inside. And thinking of that, and I hope this doesn't go dead, it is old wood. Uh, and you know the smell. Yes, exactly. Hey, Samantha. But the, uh, I have a thing and I've brought it to work. I have an ozonator. And that's what motel rooms use to clean like when somebody has a dog or smoked in one of the motel rooms. And that's what people who come in after fire restoration do to get that smoke smell out of there. And it's a little machine. Yes, I'm going to use either the slick stick or shellac for sure, Liz, to keep any uh, any bleed through from coming. And I know that'll help with the smell, too. And uh, Dixie Bell has some, not slick stick, Boss is what I meant to say. They have that product called Boss, which blocks odors and stains. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to use an odor blocking uh, primer on here for sure. And uh, I just can't quit thinking about how nasty that is. I had my hands down in it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that and uh, maybe put the orange oil in there. But maybe I should go get that ozonator and, you know, put it in the bathroom with nothing in there but this and the ozonator and let that run all night and see if it can get. No, I'm not going to sand. Even though it has areas of loose veneer and all that, I'm going to, uh, there's so much of that on here that I'm going to allow that to be part of the finish. I'm definitely going to do this as a distressed finish. You can see where some of the veneer is chipping off here and some on the top. And, uh, 
and just see what you know what I can do with that and and hopefully it'll you know it'll come out as a good piece in the long run like I said I appreciate y'all listening to me whine I was it, it kind of popped my bubble a little bit it is it is a wonderful piece but it uh it 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 is a veneer on the outside and you can and that if you look at that wood grain real close I don't know if y'all can see that there that may be some quarter sawn oak right there but I I and I don't know why when they had good wood to begin with that they would have put a veneer over it but they did and I'm I'm not going to fix that on this I'm not a furniture refinisher I'm a furniture painter and this one's going to be chippy and old looking um whenever it's done so um and, and I still do think it's a wonderful piece, but I, you know, I still, we're going to build some kind of legs to at least make it taller, I think, at this point. But anyways, thank y'all for joining me and listening to me complain and offering suggestions. And I'm going to take all of those into account. And next time you see this thing, I'm going to be doing something to it that makes us all happy. Bye.